Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where we are going to find out what the cardinal rule is when it comes to writing fiction, writing poetry, writing nonfiction, writing a blog post, writing an email blast. Whatever it is, you cannot break this damn rule, okay? So, what this rule is, is that you are never allowed to be boring. Hands down, that's it. If you are not boring, you will be able to retain readers for a ridiculous amount of time, maybe even through the entirety of whatever it is that you wrote. The main reason why people back out isn't because the writing is poor, isn't because the story isn't very good, it's because the writing is boring. So, I did, like, one of my first writing tip videos I ever did on this channel was talking about if you are a good storyteller. How do you know if you're a good storyteller? Talk to people around you. Talk to your significant other. Talk to your family members. Talk to your friends. If while you're talking to your friends, within seconds of you opening your mouth, they're like this. Uh-huh. 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 You are boring as fuck and no one wants to listen to you. Okay? So you have to come up with ways, and I swear to God, do this in your life before you even sit down at the keyboard. Try to get people invested and you just telling them what the fuck you did that day. Figure out a way to make that interesting. What, no matter how dumb what you did today was, find a way to make it seem exciting. You can do it. We all can do it. I fucking do it every second of the day. Good lord. I would have offed myself a long ass time ago if I couldn't fucking make believe that my life was exciting. You know what I'm saying? Now, once you do this, every single line, especially if you're writing poetry, every fucking line cannot, none of these lines can be boring. They have to move to the next thing. If you're reading your manuscript, this is why most people say ditch the first couple chapters and ditch your last chapter because it's just you building up, you getting ready to tell a story ditch that shit and start with the fucking action this is how the pulp writers took care of shit back in the day they knew that they had a very small window to grab that editor's attention so they would start with something fucking crazy and then go from there each line needs to build to the next line each sentence needs to build to the next sentence each paragraph needs to build to the next paragraph you have to be able to do this or else your work will be boring. If your work is boring, people will not read it. You do not have to be brilliant. You do not have to be the most educated fuck in the room in order to do this. In fact, most educated people are the worst at this. They can't get out of their own fucking way. And that's why most of the writers who are highly successful and making a shit ton of money are doing it without educations, without bachelor's and master's degrees. They just write exciting lines, one after another. Now, some of you might be going, but I'm not writing like an action story. I'm writing like just something like a like literary fiction, you know? Okay, that's fine. Every line should be exciting. Each line should build to the next thing, especially if it's something where, okay, well, the level of excitement that you're going to get from a literary fiction book is like right here, as opposed to action, which is like way up here. Okay. So figure out what that level is and tell that fucking story and make sure that you could hold someone's attention. If you're reading your own work and you're bored, you fucked up. Figure out a way to say what you just said in an exciting way that makes people turn that page. Like people could talk all the shit they wanna talk about Twilight, but Twilight was a very simply written book 
that made you want to turn the page. At the end of each page, you were trying to guess what was going to happen on the next page in reading that awful, awful book. But you read the whole fucking book. You see what I'm saying? I know this is like really hard for a lot of people to fucking hear, but most of us write boring shit because we are boring fucking people. Work on talking to people in your everyday life and watch their body language when you are talking to them. If they aren't paying attention, if they are not intrigued by you talking, something is wrong with your ability to tell a story. Work on that and then work on your book, okay? So keep buying my books, type hard everybody, and I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.